Hello everyone, it's Armstrong here from Madai Miniatures and today I want to show you how to build a couple of billion stars spaceships billion suns spaceships I, I was looking through the Facebook and you know the peg the wooden peg spaceships has been quite popular from the inception of the game but you know I never actually approached this because I was thinking you know they they are okay, but you know, it's wood and I'm not really a big fan of the material to work for mi uh, miniatures. But my wife saw a couple of miniatures online and she said, why don't you try to build some? So I hit her advice and you know, I bought some wooden pe uh, pegs. Unfortunately, they are very bad quality. You can see come on, how grainy the insides are. But I managed to build a couple of spaceships and, you know, I started from a very basic shape. And I'm gonna be just building all of them again, just to show you how you can do it yourself. So, yeah. hopefully this super glue isn't stuck. So you just take a wooden peg and in this case you can see that it's actually not matching so you just need to find a matching one if you have a bad pegs like mine and this sort of match you're gonna have to sand it later on if you have bad ones like this ones but just you know a little bit of super glue and you have your first very easy ship yeah so I have two of those or maybe three or five and now for the next spaceship which I built it was this and this spaceship can work both ways you can work this side with this is a front or this side with this is a front and to be honest this side for me works better as a front but you know everyone have different look at this aesthetic so again you take two pegs you hope that they are matching I'm looking only at the band in them and those ones for some reason are so I'm happy with that some super glue those two together and then you just look for another ones that's well this one is damaged yeah that's what you get when you buy them in a pound shop yeah they are almost equal and just try to figure out the center point of between those two and just glue it in here so one and the other so there we go second one and of course I'm gonna have to do a lot of sanding to get this one to look at least similar to this one but it's just doubling my fleet size and next one that I did was this it's a single one of those and then two on the side and again it can work both ways it could be you know just a ship the front could be here or here but for me this one is a typical ramming spaceship so this works for me better yeah but again I just take two of those pegs and those ones actually look quite good on the side so just match them and glue them together <coughs> And now comes the challenge of finding four ones that's gonna be somewhat equal. Because whatever company did that, they didn't bother to actually cut them properly, but I managed to find few. And now we just glue two of them together on the side. Try to match the grooves somewhat 
you can then when you're sanding it you know just fix the slight differences and you have the, your sights and now just put a dab of super glue in the middle and I just try to match the lines, separation lines in between them. I have one and in here. Oh, this got stuck to the cutting mat. Oh, come on. It's growing too fast. So one and two and my fingers got glued as well. So now this is a second one of this kind. So my thread is somewhat growing. Of course, you know, if you paint them nicely, they're going to look much better. And then I went and built this. It reminds me of the time ship from uh, Star Trek um, Voyager. It was this time ship that you know looks somewhat similar to this. Again, it's very simple. You just take two pegs, and I hope that I have enough of them to. Well, this one is just too thin. Yeah, two pegs. Glue them together. And then you look for four extra ones, which are gonna be similar. So again, for me, it's a little bit of challenge because those are so different, but for some reason today I'm lucky and I'm hitting it every single time. And then I just offset them by a couple of millimeters from the back just to have like almost a straight uh, a line connecting with this slope and you can actually probably stop at this you're gonna have a different shape of the ship yeah but I decided to throw extra two again you can be generous with super glue in here so you're gonna spoil anything especially if they are wooden packs and you have next ship of this kind. Oh yeah. And I have some more of those. Mm. And then I decided, you know, maybe I'm gonna start doing something a bit different, so I built this. This one is a little bit more complex in a construction. But nothing terrifying, all of them are fairly simple. So just take two packs, oh this one is very bad, uh, and glue them the, this way. So one, two, and there we go. And then on one of those sides here, the sloped side, <clears throat> take a, another pack and just glue it on top, like that. So it's gonna be sticking out. I'm just looking at this one to make sure that I'm doing this right. Because I built them a couple of days ago. But yeah, just like that 
So it is now, you know, kind of a fish tail maybe. And then again, two more packs that roughly matching. And in here, I'm just trying to be, you know, around the first cut in in the peg. So here, just add super glue. And hopefully, it's gonna be flat enough. All right, and then the other side. And just try to match them maybe from the bottom, like I do. And there we have the basic shape. But in here you can see it is erased as well. So what I did, I just took one of the pegs and exacto knife. And well, this one is a bit low. I need a higher profile. This one could be better. And then I just cut like roughly this way. So So this is the cut. Yeah, it isn't very pretty, but you can see the shape of what I was going for in here. And just glue this on top of this peg. And I know that those two look a bit different next to each other, but you have to remember that this one was sanded and this was uh, rounded when I was sanding and this was rounded and as well those sides was rounded by me. So just grab a sanding block and start sanding. It's gonna work out exactly the same as this kind of a, I don't know, devil fish. <laughs> And you know, going with this idea, I went to build a next ship, and this one is again the take on this previous one. So, two packs, opposite sides. So, one, two, and then glue. And in here you can see that this is a big front, so the bottom gonna be more of a ram. And then you grab a next one to put on top of it. So here. And we have this ram-ish thing built in. I don't even remember they put anything extra in there, but I don't think so. And then you need to grab two of a similar size. Yeah, they work. I'm more lucky than when I was building them by my earlier, you know, without recording this. But again, put those in front to create this. Front piece, and I just ran out of super glue. That's not a problem. So you have this, and then we are missing those wings here. So what those wings are are just these pieces cut off. Yeah, but I was cutting them off again in here. So you need to just trim a little bit of the one that you cut previously and again it isn't a pretty cut because you know you're using exacto knife to cut wood and yeah, maybe this isn't the hardest wood in the world but still it's a wood and then I just decided to have it roughly you know matching the height of this piece so just still some super glue in here so I can squeeze it out. 
So you just have one side. Ah, maybe. This one is cut shorter. The wings are cut shorter to fit with the end of the ship, but I think that I'm gonna be fine with this. Oh. I just need to grab an extra super glue. Right, so I have a second super glue. And now to finish the top of this ship, again the same story. Just grab this, cut at some angle here. And don't be worried that it's ain't gonna be perfectly straight. If you are very good at cutting, you can make maybe do it. I'm horrible at cutting straight, so. You know, I have maybe one in 10 cuts that come out straight. The rest are saved by a sandpaper. And then, you know, just put this in here on top. So, come on super glue, come out. And just wherever the bend starts, you put the this part. And then you have to cut this to roughly the same length as this one. So you can see that, again, I failed at cutting straight. But you can finish this off with sandpaper. So just put some super glue in here and over in here. And just glue it in. So there we go. We have two bit different spaceships, but the idea is the same. Again, I'm gonna have to finish this with a sandpaper, otherwise <laughs> it's impossible to get any good result on that. <clears throat> then I have next one, which looks like some sort of a landing boat from D-Day. And this one was fairly easy to make. Again, all of them are very easy to make. Just grab two pieces, flip them. You don't care if they are equal length even. Yeah, and just screw them together. There we go. Then grab two pieces that are somewhat similar to each other. There we go. Well, slightly off, but I can live with that. And throw them in here, but try to raise them maybe look at the more angular side and just glue it maybe upside down like that just to have this mm, uh, no this is not so take this one and just cut it in half yeah if you have a saw you can use saw i was just using a blade yeah, but it's not easy. You cut it where the spring would be on the top of a pin to help it. Oops. Okay, it jumped out, but it's okay. So I have this piece and this piece, yeah. And I just put this on top to cover uh, actually, I didn't cover this in here. Yeah, but you can slide it back and then cut it afterwards. Or leave it if you like it. So, like that. Glue it. And then this piece is a kind of fuselage. I don't know. And I'm actually gonna leave it back as this one is just to have a little bit different look to them. Yeah. 
and then you just grab like I said two similar looking pins and well, this one is shorter there we go and just glue them so you can have a kind of deck in between maybe the lower part yeah just glue them to the top part with the line I completely forgot how I built this one that's why it is so hectic all right so one and two come on come on And there you have this. Again, this could be cut off or just, you know, sanded down. But that's the same boat, just a little, well, a little bit different. And then I have this. I kind of failed at picking the equal size front pieces. But, you know, I'm still happy with it, so I can now disassemble this peg that I have at the beginning and use it <laughs> again flip the pieces and glue them together and then grab two that are similar length and maybe not so damaged <laughs> even similar thickness and we can see how this is built so this is like that and then just move them forward I think that I went to about half of the of the cut in in here and just glue them to this piece so one and two and you have already quite decently looking spaceship and then just grab the next one and attach it like that and it's gonna give it this whoa I didn't suspect that to happen <laughs> expect that to happen but yeah and then just glue it to here and this is very bad looking peg from the top so I just hope it's gonna hold and that's how you have a next spaceship now just painting and <laughs> well sanding and painting and the last one from this what I built previously is this well previously which I built for myself is this one and this one is I actually have one extra of those so just one of this and then two of a similarly looking packs and I'm running very short on them <laughs> somewhat somewhat similar yeah and just glue them in here like that so to the front, one, and the other, come on, so this gives you this kind of, I don't know what shape, but nice shape, and this is, this was a differently done than all of them because I grabbed one of those and I just decided to make it kind of a, a spike so again cutting off this part yeah and then it was necessary to sand it very fine side sandpaper in here which is not the best for a big job 
but this was just a kind of springboard to allow another piece of peg to st stand on top of that. So I just put it in here on the front. So just glue it in. And then I hope that maybe I'm just gonna take some more coarse sandpaper and just sand it down a bit. So now I have a little bit more of a lighter angle, not so mm, aggressive, but now I have a slim picking in the <laughs> which is kind of painful. But yeah, you can take another one to glue on top. And you know, my fingers are already covered in super glue, so I'm actually sticking to everything. And just glue this one here, which is your kind of springboard thing. Yeah, it's look very aggressive. And then I took another one and just glue it on the bottom, just pushing it in, because I didn't want that one to be so much of a leverage that when you push it, it's just gonna break. So I add the super glue in here, and then some in here. and just stick it in the bottom of this one. And this one have more aggressive angle, I can see straight away. Maybe that was the back of this, yeah. I think that I screw with this one. I think that this was actually this part that I glue in and then I cut this, but yeah, that's not a big problem. Just gonna be different. So yeah, instead of putting the front of the pack under, you can you put the back of the pack, you know, to have less of an angle. But I just cut it in and I'm gonna make the front out of this. You know, little mistakes happen to all of us. <laughs> But yeah, I rounded this up and now I'm just going to glue it in. And there we go. That's next spaceship ready. If you really want, you can use as well, you know, the cups from the super glue to make some nice looking jet engines. And now that I have it all done, this is the PEG fleet in its full glory. Thank you very much for watching and if you enjoyed it, please rate, comment and subscribe. And of course, have a lovely day.